was a crisp autumn morning. The engines were waiting in the yard for their assignments. Deltic was waiting nearby. His engine had been fixed, but he still needed a wash. Deltic growled angrily as he spat out some dirt from his air intake. Why do they always choose me for the dirty jobs? I'm a high-class diesel. Probably so they don't have to use me, said Peterson the Peppercorn A1. Ah, yes. Peterson, the ever-clean high-speed steam engine, always pulling the fast expresses. If you got one speck of dirt on your nose, you'd spend half an hour trying to get it off, said Midland. Just like last week, then, said Riddles. Tell you what, Peterson, if you can go a whole day without complaining about one speck of dust or dirt, then we'll stop picking on you, said Deltic. Well, that's settled, then, said Peterson, and he huffed away crossly. Meanwhile, in the town, a cat was walking across the street. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a dog came running after it. The cat went into a big startled state and ran straight into a man. His hat blew away and straight onto the track. Peterson was racing down the line and suddenly he saw the hat. What's that? he said. Oh no, no, no. Ah. It flew straight into his face and covered his right eye. Not very far up the line, a shunter was trying to put away some tank wagons. One of them was full of hot chocolate fudge. As they went over a bump, the coupling came loose and the chocolate fudge wagon was left behind. Peterson's eyesight was a bit fuzzy from the shock and he couldn't see the tank wagon. It was only when they were too close that he could. There was an almighty crash as Peterson drove straight into the fudge wagon. He couldn't have stopped in time. He was covered in hot, sticky fudge and was very upset. Luckily, although he had derailed, he wasn't badly damaged and was easily re-railed again. Peterson's driver and fireman sighed. Oh, here we go. We're going to be late again. I'm guessing you want to have a nice wash down for the next half an hour. Peterson was about to agree, but suddenly he remembered what Deltic had said. Nope, not today. Let's get these passengers home on time. Driver and fireman were both quite startled and impressed. They made it on time, and then Peterson went back to the yard. Apparently, the manager was waiting for him. Peterson, I'm very proud of you. You got the passengers home on time, and you didn't even fuss about that fudge. Thank you, sir, but it was all up to Deltic, really. If he hadn't made that bet, then I would never have done this, and the passengers would have been late. Yes, well, Deltic can be quite convincing. Peterson rolled back into the yard, expecting a hero's welcome. Hey, we heard about what you did today, said Midland. <laughs> yes, well, I was very persistent. No, not about that, how you got covered in chocolate fudge. You looked like a chocolate pudding. All the engines laughed at that. Peterson was very cross. As Peterson rolled angrily back to the washdown, Deltic looked around and said to him, Hey. Peterson! Peterson, over here! What do you want now, Deltic? said Peterson, who was in quite a sour mood. I think it was really good what you did today. I know I wouldn't have done that. Oh, well. Thank you, said Peterson, and he was very happy that at least Deltic hadn't been mean to him.